tell you something that I I, I see. I see all this stuff will be about Melly. And I'm telling you, uh, you got I wanted gonna, to be, I want to know who your son was, bro. I want the people to know who your son was. Okay, like, like they said, I ain't take care of Chris uh Ben Ryan. I had to take Chris out to eat with one of his homies. I told Chris, I said, Jit. You were born in 98. I did a whole year in the county in 99. I was out for 2000. July 2001, I went back to prison. I got out May 28, 2002. I was out the rest of 2002. I went back to prison March 2003. I got out July 5th, 2000. March, same year. And I went to did six months in the county. They did both. Four months. I got out July that year, 2003. July 5th, 2003. I was out the same rest of the year. My son Christian was born September that year. Okay, I was out 2003, 2004. Christian coming in the summer, spring breaks and shit. 04, 05. April 05, I go back to jail for shooting Shavar. Boom. I go I go April 05. My dad didn't get me the lawyer shit. I cop out quick in 22 months. I was in prison by July that year. I got out. November 19, 2006. So how long that was you was in prison? I mean, you was out of his life. I just told you. You got to break the... About 10 years? Uh, all together, 18, uh, out of his 18-year-old life? Yeah. About 10 years. Yeah. But when I'm on the streets, I, I, get, him every, I get him every summer, but I wasn't there financially. I wasn't really... Had it, but, but he he dealt like every summer they drop them all. Amy will bring both of them. Uh, the white girl, my white baby mom, Amy, she'll bring Maria and Chris at the same time. Just drop them off at my daddy's house. Right. This year, you think she couldn't wait to get rid of the motherfucker for the summer? Then, boom, right. once they go go back on the summers, I started picking them up on the Fridays, 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 Fridays. But not and, and that ain't started until two thousand seven. I thought, because now I got my cars and shit. I'm doing a little better. I got my own house and shit. I'm picking them up on the weekend and shit. I, that's when I got out of prison in November 06. So by the time 07 came, I'm pumping. Right. Now I go get them. They about eight or nine now. I took them to Dennis to see if they really my jits. <laughs> go ahead. I'm being honest with you. I, 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 I took know, them to I Dennis. Know. I took them. That's how I'm going to test them. I, I went to Dennis. And I, I got a USA Today. And I put that bitch on the table. I told them niggas, read it. If them motherfuckers couldn't read, they can't be mine. Because you was nah. always smart. Then, then, them niggas read it like it wasn't nothing. I said, all right, that's real. No, my boom, boy. Boom, 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 boom. My boy. So boom, da, da, da. We went to chill and chill. I'm, I'm teaching, teaching, teaching. So around 2000, when I go to take Chris back, his mama say, um, she got four kids by now. Chris the oldest. She like, I just drop him off uh, at Orangewood. He go to school across the street at St. Peter's. So she like, oh, you can have Chris, man. I got two of the like, like, take Chris off my hand. Like, I keep him. I want him. I'm giving all my jits back. When I get him, when I had him this time, I had Morel, Chris, Malik, Carol, and my one of my young sons, Devin. So when I go, Devin and Chris go to St. Peter's. Morel go to another school. He stay out there with, with Mama though in Vero. So, and Malik ended up staying with me for a while too. So Malik staying with me. So now I got Chris. I took Malik back home with Leah. Malik, Malik stayed with about a month, three weeks to a month. Took Malik back home. Now I got Chris at me and Courtney house. Chris there, I take him to school. Devin. Him and his mama got into a boyfriend, got into it. She called me. I got to get Devin, take him. I, I changed his clothes, bathed him, everything. Drop him off at he like in kindergarten or first grade. Chris go to like the same school, Phil. So boom, took him down about two, three weeks. Then she called me talking about um, the school said that Chris wasn't passing in his grade, that he needed to come home, just that and other. I said, man, that's a lie. I talk to them teachers when I go to school. I talk to them when I pick him up. And he get out of school, his his, his his friends cross the street. So I don't pick him straight up after school. I get him a couple of hours. I roll around Orangewood. I blow my horn a couple of times. Come pick him up. We go home, Jit. And and they could talk what they want to talk. But you can ask, they could ask my son, Morel. Chris and his mom with them, he love his mom. I swear to God, I can't take that from him. Boom, salute, Jit. But then all certain shit that he wasn't used to, I introduced him to that. The Nick, the Jit never been to no movies or out to eat until I took 
Stop it. And I wasn't the first one to take them to the movies. My 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 first baby mama, Amy, and Morel, Morel love them. That's the they were the, the closest to. They went to the movies first. So when he came with me that summer, I got a internet, I got Comcast, everything, da 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 da. The whole house. So it's just D2 legit with me. So I'm 27. So so I got a whole house. I got my all these three bedrooms, brand new, everything in this bitch. So Morel in my computer room, just on the computer, he got a MySpace page and everything. I go in there doing like this. Hey, Jit, what's up with you, boy? So you just gonna let this nigga sit here the whole summer and just watch you? Oh, you ain't gonna teach him? He taught that nigga how to create a MySpace page. Uh, Morel, I mean, Morel had been going, I get Amy her props. The white girl, she had been, he, he had been going through YMCA, all that shit. Jit was already on up on everything. And he had natural sense. And he tough. That bitch was tough, man. So, so, so he started teaching him. Boom, 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 introduce him to other shit. So basically, you raised, so basically your his mama raised him. Who? Juvie. Juvie mama raised him. When I got when I left Chris in 2000, okay, just a great guy. Okay, from 2003 to 2000 to August 05. Yeah, I'm there. Okay, then I do two years. Right. Okay. Before then, not so much. Right. And then I get out November 06. So around January 07. Now I'm big boarded. I'm getting them every summer, every weekend. Cause you're back on your feet. You're back on your yeah. feet. Yeah. Right. Not only am I, am I on my feet, I'm doing better than I ever did in my life. Right. And every time, every time since then, I do better and better. Right. So, right. 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 So, so he with me every summer, every summer, every summer, from 2007, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, wait. I get out. Of 2000. Yeah. Six. So from 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Chris with me every summer. I, I turned myself in uh, September 23rd, 2013. I didn't see Chris them again. They said, visit me in jail. Like, shit, if he didn't know me and fuck me, what the fuck you coming to see me for? Right. How old and was then, he? I, how old was Chris? Yeah. 2013, well, he, that was about 2014, 15. That's when they were going through the ages of 14, 15, and 16. I went around. Uh-huh. No, it got to be 13. Hell yeah, yeah, 14, 15, and 16. But time, by the time they were turning them ages, I'm probably just not living because I've never been around them. When I got out, Morel was 18. Chris was finna be, Chris was 17. And then I went to Morel graduation when I got, I got out June 1st, 2016. Morel graduated June 3rd, 2016. I went to Morel graduation. Boom, boom, when they coming out of there, Chris, I'm coming out of there now. So from 2016 until he passed, oh, shit. Man, that bitch was like this. That was your junior. 